Now, when we are normally reviewing a car, you would see a car that's shiny, clean, showing off its best lines and hopefully in a beautiful destination. But today is different. Today we have a really dirty Jeep. We are in the middle of nowhere. So what are we doing today? Well, we are driving this. This is the new Jeep Meridian. This is the latest product from the Jeep brand in India. And what they're saying is that it's the best in class when it comes to all round ability, which also includes serious off-roading. So today we are driving the Jeep Meridian on the road, off the road, and when I mean off the road, I just don't mean on dirt tracks, on obstacles that you would normally never take. Can the Meridian handle it? Let's find out. Of course, Jeep also has a very distinctive design DNA, and the minute you look at the Meridian, you know it's a Jeep. It's got the big seven slide grille, it's got the sleek headlights, and in fact, the front of the Meridian is inspired more by the new Cherokee than its smaller sibling, the Compass. Overall, I have to say, it's a striking looking design. It's 4.8 meters in length, but it's very well balanced. Those 18 inch wheels are absolutely gorgeous. You get the squared off arches, you get cladding to tell you that this car's got off-road ability. I really like this maroon shade. It really sparkles when the car is clean, of course. And with the black contrast roof, I think overall I have to say it's a really balanced design. The overhangs are not too much. Uh, the angular lines give the sides of the car a rather sharp look. The rear end is also one of my favorite parts of the car. You get these sleek tail lights, you get the chrome badging, you get very minimal badging otherwise. And I think overall the Jeep team has done a great job with the design. Especially because the detailed touches, you know, the small chrome here and there, the lights, the way that they're designed, the way the badging is, it's been done very well. So full kudos to the Jeep design team for designing a car that looks really good. But what we are essentially here to do is to find out how it drives and we're going to take it off-road to tell you exactly how it does. And after that, we'll take it on-road to tell you how it will fare with your everyday commute. Now, when it comes to the interior, the Meridian's interior offers an interesting combination. Uh, I say interesting because if you're familiar with the Compass, you'll instantly feel at home in the Meridian. It carries over quite a few of the parts from the Compass, but it also has major differences. The stuff that's similar is the 10.1 inch uh, multimedia screen, the 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster, uh, but it also gets a new two-tone color theme, which I think suits it really well, the black and this almost coffee colored brown uh, is a nice uh, combination. The seats get changes, they get contrast stitching, they get this quilted pattern, they are perforated. The front seats are ventilated, you also get wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, climate control, you get the selectable driving modes. Uh, and interestingly, one of the biggest differences between the Meridian and the Compass is that the Meridian is longer, it has a longer wheelbase wider and taller than the compass which means there's more interior space how does it feel uh, sitting in the driver's seat well i really like the seats of the compass and the seats of the meridian are equally good if not better they're big they're supportive they're very comfortable and i'm sure even if you're sitting in it for long hours you'll feel right at home but the most important question about the meridian is how does it feel in the second row and the third row does it have enough space well let's find out the second row of the Meridian feels like quite a comfortable place to be. Getting in and out of the Meridian is actually quite easy because the rear doors of course have been lengthened. The increased wheelbase, about 149 mm or so, uh, means there's more space that's been created for the third row. The second row feels about as spacious as in the Compass, but with the bigger door and the doors opening up to almost 80 degrees, it's very easy to get in and get out. The driver's seat is set to my driving preference. And you can see I've got enough knee room available to be sitting here comfortably. The increased width of the Meridian also means that three people can sit very comfortably. Uh, the only area of concern I see actually two areas. One, you cannot adjust the second row forwards and backwards. You can adjust the backrest angle though. It can come forward, it can go backwards. This is currently in its most backward position and it's quite a comfortable place to be. The other concern for me though, is the headroom even at my 59 uh, there's not much room left so anybody above six feet will likely struggle in the second seat 
But most importantly, how is the third seat? Can adults fit there? Can you spend a long journey in the third row? Let's find out. Now folding the second row seat of the Meridian is very easy. There's a flap here, you flip it and the seat folds itself. But getting into the third row of the Meridian, that's a challenge because the floor is rather high. So it becomes a bit of task to climb in. The bigger challenge though, is the third row suited for a full-size adult? Well, let's see. With the third row backrest in its rearmost position, my knees are already touching the seat. So, is this a comfortable place for somebody as tall as me? Well, not really. So, I would say if you're 5'6 or young kids in the third row, it's a suitable position. But anybody taller than that will have an issue. The other issue is the higher floor gives you that feeling of your knees being in your ears, you know. It becomes slightly uncomfortable and long journeys. So, third row is ideally suited either for young adults or for young kids. Jeep's DNA has always been about all-round ability and in this aspect, the Meridian certainly does not disappoint. Whether it's a 32-degree climb or a 40-degree drop, the Meridian truly tackles off-road with ease. With its selectable driving modes, along with diff lock and low ratio in four-wheel drive, the Meridian aced whatever we could throw at it. In fact, in its segment, you would struggle to find an SUV as capable off-road as the Meridian is. So now that we've seen what the Meridian is capable of off-road, let's talk some facts, figures, technical equipment and how it drives on-road. If you look at the engine of the Meridian, it's the familiar 2-litre unit that is also powering the Compass and some other cars in the Indian market. In this guys, it also produces 170 bhp. Thankfully, the Meridian will come in three variations as far as powertrain is concerned. Uh, what we're driving is the top of the line 4x4 9-speed automatic. The 9-speed automatic will also be offered by with front-wheel drive and there'll be a 6-speed manual front-wheel drive version. So obviously, there'll be a wide spread of variants to choose from. Also, the prices will differ by quite, by quite a bit, I think at least between the front-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive versions. As I mentioned earlier, the Meridian has also been elongated. So uh, the elongated platform gives it more wheelbase. It's about 4.8 meters, which is as long as the Fortuner. But in, interestingly, visually, it doesn't look as imposing as the Fortuner. But I think that's a good thing because I prefer the clean, the more sophisticated look of the Meridian. The interior, as we discussed earlier, also has a lot of practicality, but there are a few compromises. How is it to drive on the road? Well, that's where the real revelation of the Meridian comes out. Um, you know, we've seen that it's very capable off-road, but even on-road, the Meridian feels very planted. The ride is absolutely fantastic. And the biggest thing for me is it doesn't feel that 4.8 meter size. When you drive it, it actually drives, it feels like you're driving a compass, just a wider, slightly more spacious compass. And I think that really adds to the appeal of the Meridian because it makes it very easy to drive. Uh, the tweaks of, uh, from the engineers uh, to the engine and the gearbox also mean that the gearbox responds a bit faster than it does uh, in the compass. The throttle response is also quite good. So as long as you keep your foot planted, um, as in at least half a throttle, the Meridian makes swift progress. Uh, 0 to 100 timing is claimed to be just under 11 seconds and it feels amply fast. Could it use a little more power? Yes, I think they could do about 25-30 more horsepower then the Meridian will feel really, really quick. But even now, it doesn't feel slow at all uh, because that was one of the worries that will the Meridian with its added weight and size, will it feel slow? No, it doesn't feel slow. And I think the better throttle response really adds to how the Meridian feels and how you drive it. The steering also retains the same uh, appeal. It's slightly on the heavier side, but it has a lot of feel. And I think the standout uh, in all of these is the ride quality. It handles bad roads very, very well. It's very stable and overall seems like a very well engineered, designed, balanced package. So, who will the Meridian appeal to? Well, I think two kinds of customers. One, those who want that sophistication, that more classy feel, the interiors feel really good, the equipment levels are quite high. 
and two there'll be people who might want to take it off road sure almost nobody will do the kind of off roading that we are doing today but it's good to know that your car is capable of handling virtually anything if need be so i think that's the two kind of customers the meridian will definitely appeal to another advantage the meridian will have is availability jeep is hoping to have good numbers in production from next month which is may onwards and, and that will also be a big advantage in a market where supply of three row cars today is very very constrained essentially there are two challenges for the meridian now one is that the third row is a bit cramped so if you have young kids young adults and don't need a very big third row the meridian will appeal to you the boot is small while all three rows are being used but it's uh, it's it's a decent size you can fit two small bags there and if you fold the third row it folds flat the boot is quite practical the other big challenge from the meridian will be the biggest challenge that any product in india has uh, what the pricing will be so what will the jeep india officials price it at well they are absolutely tight lipped about it and don't want to discuss it at all but in my estimation given that the compass is priced at 29 lakh rupees if they can price the meridian around the 35 lakh rupee mark it could make for a very very competent product it has great all wheel drive ability it has very good usability sure there's a little bit of compromise in the third row but people can live with that and it looks really really well designed so those are the advantages and if priced well the meridian has a lot of potential to be a big success in the indian market